Sarah Rosetta Wakeman uh, was in so many ways very typical of the women soldiers who served during the war. She was from a yeoman farming family. She was not wealthy. She was semi-literate. She was her whole life a hard-working farm girl. In the 19th century, this was really non-traditional. You were actually considered kind of crazy to be dressing this way. Um, like some of them considered those kind of women to be fanatics. Working class women, um, yeoman farm women, pioneering families, none of those women had the luxury to just take care of the house and the children. On small farms and in pioneer families, women were out in the fields. Women were working at difficult jobs in the mills. Women were working as maids and domestic servants. So the lives of many Victorian women were in direct contrast to these social ideals. These social ideals had no place in the lives of working class women, farming women, and pioneering women. And it is those women, more often than not, who went off to war. Upper middle class women and plantation daughters rarely entered the ranks of the Union Confederate armies. The women that populated the armies were women who already knew how to shoot a gun, women who already knew how to ride a horse, women who were already accustomed to bad living conditions or living outdoors or harsh manual labor. Those are the women that went to war and those are the women that fought and died for their country.